Well, just uh, first, just want to again commend Jeff and his team. I just I think those kids are so tough. They're playing so well. He's coaching them. Um, they're playing different now without um, Aoka, and uh, I think they're harder to guard personally. Uh, but just a lot of respect and admiration for him and his staff and his players. I just he's got kids on that team that to me are just so tough and competitive and. So for us, it's a great win. We're, we're excited to, to get the win today. I'm, I'm so proud of my players uh, on a day that maybe wasn't some of our best. It still was good enough to win and, and beat the number two team in the country. And uh, really appreciate our crowd today. We had 8,300, a lot of students here today. And again, they just they make all the difference in the world. Their voice is way different than mine or somebody my age. And um, when you have the students there, it just creates a, a whole different dynamic and a whole different atmosphere. And so we, we really appreciate them being here. And again, the 8,300 that really made for a, I'm sure it was a great TV game and a, a great atmosphere for both teams. But, um, you know, again, happy for our players to be 21 and three and having gone through what they've gone through and continue to go through. Um, I just couldn't be more proud of them. You know, this is hard to do, y'all. It's hard to win, hard to win at this level. Uh, they've now won back-to-back -to -back top 15 games this week. Um, just uh, one was on the road, and, and obviously this one was here at home. So, you know, as I've told them, all they are doing is proving that they're good enough. And um, and so we we've, we've got to we've got to uh, we've got to acknowledge that, and no excuses. Be accountable and realize that. We've got a great opportunity in front of us, and so we'll uh, we'll watch the film. We certainly didn't close the game out right today like we'd like to, but at the same time, uh, this is a group that's still learning how to do that, and, uh, you know, I'll have to coach better and teach better and make sure they know how to do that. But, uh, um, again, awfully proud of, of my team, and um, we're, we're, uh, we'll give God the glory for number 21, and, um, and, and now – Obviously, we've got a little chance to, to kind of get healthy and get well and, and uh, get in the gym. We obviously didn't shoot it very well today, and, and that was uh, apparent from the jump. If you have questions, you bring the microphones around. Um, Aliyah, what did this team prove this week with the, the Baylor game in today? Ooh, um, Tough question. <laughs> uh, I think we proved a lot. Um, I think Coach has really challenged us every day to prove that we are tough um, and that we still have a chance um, with Rory going down. And I think that the team has answered. I'm really proud of my teammates. Uh, I think we work hard every day in practice. I think we've been put in situations where we've had to figure it out, like at the end of the game today. And I think we're getting better at the last-minute situations and we're having less mental lapses. <laughs> I'm still working on that, though. Um, but I'm, I'm really proud. We've made a lot of strides, but we're not done yet. You know, after Baylor, cool, pat on the back. Next one. After this one, pat on the back. There's so many more games ahead, and we have a lot more goals. So really proud of them, but big road ahead. <laughs> yeah, Leah, I just want to ask you again, after the game, a lot of emotion. You and Deanna had a nice little, nice little uh, <laughs> celebration there. What was that all about, and um, what does this one mean to you all? Man, I, when I say it's personal, it's more of it's personal within the team because we know how good we can be, and we work so hard. So we take it upon ourselves every day to be the best that we can be, and we want to go out there and show that to everyone that was out there tonight. Uh, and so when we don't, you know, it's personal. We got to figure it out. Um, but I'm, I'm just I'm so happy, so proud. Dee's my girl. We're both goofy. Um, but it was just shout-out to our students, first of all. The student section, y'all were lit tonight. <laughs> and we really – not tonight, but um, we appreciate the – the fans, everyone that came out, um, we really do. We couldn't have done it without y'all. Y'all created a great atmosphere. And that's why after the game, I had to run over there. I let them know. Thank y'all for coming. Um, they just, they make the difference. Uh, Madison, uh, who was that imposter in your uniform in the first half? And when did you become comfortable to become yourself again? Um, the person in the first half was, uh, it wasn't easy. But, no, I just had a lucky I'm 
Um, Jack, how have you kind of handled this season and adjusted to what this team needs for you and kind of how you've played the last three games? Um, I'd say I've I've really just trusted in my teammates. Some people think um, from a selfish level that, oh, I'm not getting enough playing time, then I must be doing something wrong. But my teammates are great players, and I know they want as much – they want the best for me as I do for them. So really just hanging on with my teammates. When Rory went down, okay, what's the next what's the next move? What's the next um what's the next situation, you know, that we ha- what's the next goal we have to accomplish? And that's really just how this season has been, you know, a bunch of up and downs and just leaning on each other, leaning on my teammates as they are, have to me and getting through this process and enjoying every step of it. Uh, Ali, if, if you could just speak to playing Kansas State without Lee and how that, what was the game plan tonight? Um, you know, with your double double, I guess, and then Taylor got a couple of those those big putback points in the third quarter. Just how much? <clears throat> what was the game plan for you without Lee in the middle there? I mean, like Coach said, they're good with her and they're good without her, so it's like a, a double threat right there. Um, but no, shout, kudos to, to um, Kansas State. They're a phenomenal team. Um, to me, they weren't ranked number two for no reason. They'd put in the work. They had won the games. Um, and she's – Lee is a great player, an All-American for a reason. It's hard to stop her, <laughs> let me tell you that. And so our game plan, honestly, with they not, them not having her was to go inside. Um, she's a big part of um, their team. And so we just tried to make sure that we utilized what we had. And I think we did a pretty decent job. <laughs> Yeah, Aaliyah, as far as the growth of this team, and and how concerning was the fourth quarter? Did you feel like y'all let down and celebrated too much, and especially y'all's transition defense that quarter? Yeah. I think we just had too many mental lapses that we weren't having in the beginning of the game. So that's why, if you saw, I was a little bit frustrated because I had some myself. Um, but I was like, now is not the time <laughs> to have these mental lapses. And so it's frustrating, but at the end of the day, um, it's every possession matters, like Coach says. Um, we take it one by one. So they might score. It can't happen again. So it's just we learn from it. Did you feel like you let down? I, I wouldn't say let down. I just think we didn't make smart plays, as Coach would say. <laughs> um, Vic, how do you handle the next couple of days with there being a long break? to the TCU game, but obviously probably want to get your players a little bit of rest. Yeah, I think that's the answer. Um, I know I'm, I'm, uh, I'll be gone recruiting um, early in the week, and, uh, you know, these kids are – they. It's, it's finally nice to have a little time. We, we were able to give them a couple of days last week, and, uh, you know, this week. I'll have to check and see what the availability is for the Moody. We haven't been in here in four or five days, and but we got we got to get some kids in shooting the ball. Like we're we obviously didn't shoot it well tonight. I think that's indicative of our we we've got to spend some time shooting the ball. But you know we we've got to get some kids healthy, and it'll give Deanna, I think her in particular, her and and uh, Aaliyah, Aaliyah with her ankle that she uh, tweaked the other night. It'll really give Aaliyah a chance to to, um, you know, kind of get on the mend a little bit, and, and then it'll give give Madison some time as well. So I'll be real careful with them Monday, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll probably get back and watch some film Tuesday and, and do a lot of shooting before we start getting ready for TCU on Wednesday. Yeah, Coach, uh, you may not be happy about the shooting, but y'all held K-State to the least amount of scoring that they had all season. And so defensively, how excited are you about the way they've been playing lately? Um, I'm so proud of our kids. I, I, uh, I thought they played really hard on that end. Um, um, they're hard to guard, like Leah said. They're they're way different. Uh, they're hard to guard with Aoka, and they're really hard to guard without her. It just opens up the floor. Jeff's done just such a great job of utilizing his personnel, and um, you know they'll tell you I was really concerned at shoot around this morning because we weren't moving around real good and. I knew they were going to challenge us with back cuts and back doors and and things of that nature. So and you can't get 
if you start playing horse with them, they're going to beat you every time. So I'm I'm really proud uh, of of our defensive effort. They, uh, you know, they they shot 36 percent, 35 percent, and 14 from three, and we put them at the line a little more than I like. But you know, uh, I thought our I thought our defense was was solid for the most part. Again, you hold somebody at 54 points, you better win. You know, I was pretty frustrated with my offense to be honest with you. In the first half, I I couldn't get couldn't get us to where we wanted to. Then I thought we made some really good adjustments coming out of the locker room at halftime, and thought the kids were special offensively in the third quarter. Really took those things and really executed and did some really good stuff. And we got Booker. She went five for ten in the second half, and and uh, got her some really good looks, and and we got the ball inside some, and you know we we. We're big. Like, we need to utilize our size. It's frustrating for me when we don't. I thought we turned down our uh, – I thought we turned down Deanna and, and Taylor both in the first half, and I don't like that. And I didn't play post. I wasn't a post player. But I'm, I'm pretty defensive of those bigs down there because I know, I know what they're doing, um, you know, on the other end. And, and um, so uh, I, I really wanted us to try to go back inside, and I thought we did that in the third quarter. And then we got book freed up down the baseline a little bit on some stuff where we put Shaley at point and moved her, moved book over to the wing, and and so that that kind of got us some things. And then I, I I thought our kids executed out of bounds plays really well. You know we scored. If it wasn't, I told them at halftime, we wasn't for out of bounds plays, we we probably wouldn't have 25 points. You know, and uh, and so I was really pleased with our execution uh, on out of bounds plays there in the first half. So again, that's. That's a good sign. I'm 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 big on that. I feel like I need to be worth you know about eight points a game, six points a game, just on out of bounds plays and how teams guard you, you know, down there, and uh, and so I, I thought our kids were really really good um, executing some good out of bounds stuff. For coach as well, Aaliyah was talking before about how you try to instill confidence in the team that they can still do something special even without Rory. How much do you sense the confidence growing, especially with the week you guys have had this week? Well, you ought to be confident after this week. They just, you know, they went into Waco and, and played really well. I thought we played better, quite frankly, Thursday than we did today. And, uh, again, we had a, a – a, defensively, we were really good tonight. But offensively, I thought we were – you know, we just turned the ball over, threw it away a bunch, threw it, you know, just – we got to be better there, but I, I've I've told them every day you're good enough. They'll tell you. I tell them every day you're good enough. And again, I'm part of coaching is holding people accountable. It's not very much fun sometimes. It's not account. It's it's it's. Uh, but I'm not afraid to do that, and they know that, and I want them to be great, and um, and and so uh, they're good enough. And, and I tell them that all the time, but we've got to keep getting better and keep working. Like, to me, our ceiling is we're we're way away from it. Like, I still think we've got a long way where we can get better, but uh, I, I uh, we've got to cut down on some things. You know, the turnovers are just they're killing us. You know, we've we've got to stop turning. Nobody's out here trying to take it from us. Like, nobody's taking it from. We're just throwing it to them. And so we've we've got to be better there. Um, you know, I thought defensively we made some some big strides uh, tonight because we stayed in the man all night long. I sure didn't want to go play zone against them because I'd be afraid they could they'll they'd shoot us out of it. And uh, so uh, again, I, I I think this team, I think they have a chance. You know, I, what the, what's a chance? I think we can be pretty good down the stretch, and that's why I got to get Gaston healthy, got to get. Uh, Madison uh, healthy, and I got to get Amo healthy, and that this next week probably couldn't come at a better time for us. So, yeah, Vic, I was going to ask you. I know you don't like to talk about the Big Twelve race and everything because you're a one game at a time kind of yeah. guy. But did this game, you know, help your confidence, help your seeding, help your chances to run down K State and repeat? And it's all rolled into where you want to go, right? And and this week had a lot to do with that. For sure. I mean, if we were going to try to get back in it, this was the week to do it. We we uh, um, we had to. You know, we probably needed to answer the bell, and uh, these kids did it. And uh, and so, but again, there's so much left. What are we eight and three in the conference? So you still got seven games left in the league in a in a tournament, and so there's so much basketball left. And that's as you know, 
my teams in the past typically continue to get better. But here's the thing, you ain't getting better if you're not practicing. If you're coming in for 45 minutes and calling it a day, you're not getting better. And, you know, we're, we're kind of banged up a little bit, so I, I was really careful with them Friday, and I hated Friday. Like, it was – we watched film for an hour and 15 minutes. We were on the court for about 45, and we lifted for 30. Like, I've never done that. Never. But I felt like I needed to do that to try to help get, you know, some key people some rest. And um, and so, uh, but it's hard to get better, you know. And, and I want to get better. I want these kids to continue to, to get better because I think our ceiling is still way out there. So, um that's the challenge that we have right now, and um, you know we'll we'll keep working at it. And uh, but I'm proud of it. Like Aaliyah's, you know her ankle's bothering her. You know it's 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 not it's not comfortable. Y'all see her limping out there. I had to get her out a couple times, and I'm worried about her. Like I don't want her hurting something else. You know uh, Madison's I think feeling a lot better, but we still need to get her back. You know where we're not worrying about her every day in practice. Um, Gaston's ankle, y'all. Yesterday she couldn't even practice. Like she, she had to come out of practice and couldn't practice. Um, it was bothering her so bad. It's just a matter of what she, how she wakes up and what side of the bed she's on, you know, and how that thing feels. So it's just a real, you know, it's a real wreck. But they know I want to get better, and I'm going to, you, know, you know, we're going to keep working to get better. Jocelyn is a great example of getting better, y'all. Kid just works. I stay on her. I don't let her slough off. But I've, I need more from her. Like, I, I'm, I'm not doing my job as a coach if I can't get Jacqueline to play like she's playing right now. And I need her to. Her team needs her to. She's a good player, y'all. And right now she's playing with a little confidence. She, play, she To me, she looks confident out there right now. And I got confidence in her. <laughs> I love that kid, man. I've been on her since the day she got here, and I need her to be better. But it ain't, it's no, as I say, it's nobody's fault but my own. I got to make her better. Anything else? Thank you. Hey, appreciate everybody being here today. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord and hook them on. Shout out our fans. Yes, thank you.